she has endured a difficult week of family drama following yet another public outburst from her father. So all eyes were on Meghan when she stepped out with Harry for a gala performance at the Natural History Museum on Tuesday night. The Duchess of Sussex put on a poised and confident display, walking several steps ahead of her husband and ditching her usual habit of clutching his hand and cradling her baby bump. But according to body language expert Judy James, there could be more to her defiant display than meets the eye, and subtle signs that she may be trying to appear resilient in the face of emotional turmoil. Here, the author of the Body Language Bible reveals how Meghan adopted a marching pose and refused to look visually vulnerable. Meghan's appearance comes after her father, Thomas Markle Sr., leaked a devastating letter she wrote to him last year accusing him of breaking her heart into a million pieces by constantly hitting out against her in the press. She also spoke for the first time about the vicious lies peddled by half-sister Samantha Markle, just days after Meghan's friends spoke out about the global bullying they feel has been directed at her. The letter also shows how Meghan begged her father to stop his painful attacks on her kind and patient husband. In the same week, Hollywood actor George Clooney claimed that Meghan is being pursued and vilified, comparing her struggles to those of the late Princess of Wales. The Bump This was the first public appearance since her pregnancy was announced where Meghan didn't cup, stroke and cradle her bump. This has previously been used as a social announcement gesture, pinning her pregnancy right up there on the top of the list of topics to be aware of and to talk to her about as well as being useful to keep a running dialogue with the baby itself via some loving fingertip touches. Her decision to drop these rituals looks deliberate. There are a couple of times when we can see her perform a truncated gesture, when her left hand rises towards her bump in a bid to cradle it, but she appears to self-correct and drop her hand down to her side instead. This could, sadly, suggest she's reacting to criticism on social media. If this is happening and she's beginning to lose some of her spontaneously tactile traits to become overly self-aware and sensitive to irrelevant feedback the worry is that she could be privately struggling with the problems with her father too. However, as a conscious intentional gesture it could also suggest a desire to drop her arms in more of a marching style to signal renewed confidence. When she did touch her bump it was to place her hand on the top of it, which is a commonly used protective gesture rather than the display gestures she has been using so far. The Distance Harry removed the training wheels from Meghan early on in their marriage when she displayed high levels of social confidence on her royal appearances but last night there were suggestions that he is now standing back to allow her to be the star of the show and choreographic lead. The constant touching, hugging and hand-holding were missing with Harry using one vague ushering gesture as they approached their hosts before using distance and some barrier gestures to non-verbally hint he might be taking more of a backseat. There are some clues that Meghan's response to the problems with her father is to assert her independence and confidence in her royal role. It could have been easy for her to become visually vulnerable and to lean on or shelter behind her husband for support. But by striding out in the lead she may have wanted to suggest resilience and even a sense of power. With her collar turned up in a classic status signal and wearing a color not a million miles from the symbolic white that is being worn in the U.S. as a sign of women's suffrage, Meghan might be keen to suggest she's stronger and more confident as a result of the problems she's been facing. We've seen the letter she wrote to her father, but her glowing, center stage appearances like this one where she is positioned as a dazzling royal star in her own right could be a form of nonverbal response to suggest she's unassailable. The megawatt smile. As she takes more of a lead role, Meghan's smile seems to have widened. It looks both gorgeous and a showstopper and although the light in her eyes suggests delight and excitement at her pregnancy the smile itself looks like a Julia Roberts smile, a red carpet dazzler with a hint of Hollywood about it. The question is, how congruent or genuine is it? There is a total display of the upper teeth and a lifting at the corners of the lips that would normally require quite a lot of effort to perform. There also appears to be some dimpling of the muscles of the upper cheek and a small vein on the forehead to also hint at some effort. Because the royals are being photographed constantly at events it is normal to hold a smile that the rest of us only do when a photographer yells cheese.
but given the current pressure that Megan is under this beautiful but very subtly high effort looking smile could be the mask she has decided to apply. If this is true it would suggest Megan is determined to put on a brave, confident face despite any pressure that she might be feeling currently. Nervous Harry In contrast Harry appears a lot less masked, with several suggestions of anxiety visible in his facial expression and his body language. He looks tired and at times rather distant and reflective. While Megan's eyes greet the camera and she performs a wide smile Harry seems to be deep in thought, gazing ahead. When he walks from the car towards his hosts he performs four self-checking anxiety rituals in the space of five steps. This would be normal for his father Charles but Harry has been the one Windsor male who always appeared jolly and lacking in any self-comfort traits. He begins by buttoning his jacket rather deliberately in two barrier gestures, then hikes his trousers up from the back. He then places his hand inside his jacket as though checking for his wallet, which is a direct copy of a signature gesture his father uses under pressure. He is also later seen finger fiddling and picking before clasping his hands in front of his torso in another barrier gesture. 